In this example, I need to verify the identity, the sine of 2x minus the tangent of x equals the tangent of x times the cosine of 2x. In working with identities, we always want to start working on the more complicated of the two sides, but in this case, it's kind of hard to tell which one's more complicated. So let's look at the arguments of the trig functions. I have some arguments are 2x and some a plain old x. So I'm most probably going to have to use double angle identities in this problem. And here are a few useful identities. The double angle identity for the sine function only has one version. But the double angle identity for the cosine function has three separate equivalent versions. So I think it might be easier to start on the left hand side where you have the sine of 2x since there's only one choice to use for that. So I am going to start on the left hand side. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sine of 2x and use the double angle identity. So I don't have the sine of 2a, I have the sine of 2x, which is going to be 2 sine x cosine x. Followed by my minus the tangent of x. Now, where do we go next? Looking at what we're trying to prove, this is one combined term over here. But on my left-hand side, I have two separate terms that I'm going to have to combine. Right now, there's no way to do that. So I think I'm going to have to write my tangent function as sine over cosine. So I'm going to have two sine x times cosine x. I know I'm going to have to add fractions in a minute, so I'm going to leave a little room. Minus, instead of the tangent of x, I'm going to have the sine of x divided by the cosine of x using this identity here. Now to subtract these two terms, I'm going to need a least common denominator. And since there's only one denominator, that's my LCD. So it's just the cosine of x. So my first term, I turn into a fraction by dividing it by 1. Now I need to multiply it by cosine x in the denominator to get my LCD in the denominator. And if you multiply the denominator by cosine x, you also have to multiply the numerator. By cosine x because all I'm multiplying by here is a 1 in disguise. So now I have 2 sine x cosine x times cosine x. So that's 2 sine x cosine x times cosine x is cosine squared x minus sine x all divided by my common denominator of cosine x. Now, can I simplify the numerator? Well, they have a sine x in common, so I'm going to factor it out. And what's it going to leave behind? 2 cosine squared x minus, and if you factor a sine x out of a sine x, it has to leave a placeholder of a 1, all divided by cosine x. Now, is this looking promising? If you look at 2 cosine squared x minus 1, is that a version for the cosine of 2x? Yes. So my expression now becomes, I'm going to write the sine x over cosine x, I'm going, and I'm going to multiply it by, instead of 2 cosine squared x minus 1, I'm going to write the cosine of 2x all divided by 1. And now, what is the sine of x divided by the cosine of x? We've just used that before. That's the tangent of x times the cosine 
of 2x is that my right hand side that equals the right hand side so i have proved the left hand side equals the right hand side so i have verified my identity